Good morning, everybody. We're going to talk about this weekend. This is a wonderful weekend of justice or else. Check out my shirt. <laughs> well, Farrakhan came to town with the Nation of Islam, you know what I'm saying? And Farrakhan gave a powerful, I don't want to say a message, I want to say a powerful teaching experience. Farrakhan did a lot of teaching, and so did the Nation of Islam in their uh, 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 mission this weekend. And I want to give a shout out to the Nation of Islam. I'm proud of them for how they handled Saturday's Justice or Else rally from the security to the speakers to Tony Muhammad who talked about the vaccines. I didn't even know he was on my Facebook page. And um, of course, the man himself, Farrakhan. Now you got some, a small group of black people, and then some of them are, are conscious black folks too that surprised me. That all they're doing is criticizing Farrakhan for what he's doing. Some criticize because he talk about Jesus. Some criticize because he ain't talking enough about Africa. Some um, um, ride on on what Dr. Uh, Henry Clark is saying, you know what I'm saying, about Farrakhan. Well, Henry Clark hadn't built shit himself. He wrote some books, but that's about it. Nation of Islam got their own restaurants, their own schools, you know what I'm saying, their own farms. Matter of fact, they got two of them. You know what I'm saying? One in Michigan and one in Georgia. So that means they got their own land. You know what I mean? So, I mean, how can someone who has built nothing criticize the nation of Islam? You know what I mean? So it surprises me how some of these conscious folks uh, uh, that, that do nothing criticize the minister. Now, everybody knows me. I do not follow any religion, especially no damn Jesus. From where I said Jesus never existed, whether he was black or white. I don't follow Islam. You know what I mean? None of that. And as much as I like the nation of Islam, you won't see me out here selling no bean pies or none of that. However, I do support the nation of Islam. Make, make no mistake about it. Because they're the only organization, black organization, doing what they do. You know what I mean? So... Then you might ask, well, Jeff, if you don't support Jesus and Islam and Christianity and all that, then why do you listen to Farrakhan? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm an intelligent being and it doesn't have to be all or nothing with me. You know what I'm saying? I can choose to listen to his message of do for self and, and how white supremacy is the devil and what we need to do to uprise against white supremacy. I started listening to Farrakhan 28 years ago. You know what I'm saying? And Farrakhan is what helped start to shape my mind into a black conscious state to know who I am as a black man, to know who I am as God. What y'all conscious folks need to understand about Farrakhan is that Farrakhan speaks in a language that different people can understand. If he's talking to Muslims, then he's going to talk to you with Muhammad and Islam. If he's talking to Christians, then he's going to talk to you with Christianity and Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And if he's talking to people like me, he's going to give me that straight do for self um, kill white supremacy message. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I need. You know what I mean? So you all need to learn how to decipher it like I learned how to decipher and understand that it's not all or nothing and understand this man is on a quest to reach all black people. You can't reach all black people with one message because y'all black people are silly. You know what I'm saying? Christians are silly. You know what I'm saying? If you if, if you come with anything else but Jesus, Christians are, are silly and they're going to turn you out, tune you out, meaning they're not going to listen to you. So Farrakhan knows this because he's an intelligent man. So he teaches his same message with Christianity. He could teach his same message with Islam. He could teach it with Christianity. And he could teach it with straight up do for self to an atheist or agnostic like me. You know what I'm saying? That's the brilliance of that man. You know what I'm saying? So what we need to do is get our thumb out of our ass and unite with each other. You know what I'm saying? No matter wherever the message came from Farrakhan. Because cause I'm listening to, to some conscious people that, 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 that that's criticizing the, the march this weekend. And they talking about, well, we need to get together and unify, do for self, whatever. Well, what the fuck you think Farrakhan been talking about for the past 50 years? Along with Malcolm X and along with Elijah Muhammad. That ain't nothing but the message of Elijah Muhammad for us black folks to do for self. But your silly little dumb ass, you know what I'm saying, sitting up here criticizing Farrakhan because he said Jesus. 
Oh, it was a white villain in the crowd. So what? You know what I'm saying? Open your mind. Grow. You know what I'm saying? Get your head out your ass and unify. Because until we unify, no matter what the fuck you say, we are not going to be able to defeat white supremacy. That's what it's all about. Oh, yeah. And some people mad because he didn't just call black people. He called Hispanic people and he called Native Americans and he even called poor white people. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because we are all the prey of white supremacy. So in order to fight the powerful white supremacy, we need everybody. Farrakhan was intelligent enough to understand that. And as far as the march, it was damn near, if not a million people down there. This past weekend, 10-10-2015. You know what I'm saying? And it was great. And what was so amazing is as soon as Farrakhan started to talk, you could hear a fucking pin drop. No one was talking because everyone was listening to every word that the minister had to say. Why? Because we're hungry and we need to get fed. We're tired of white supremacy, these police officers and these crackers kicking our ass. It's too many of us, we're too powerful to allow white supremacy to kick our ass, rise and fight. And that's what's the message of Farrakhan. You know what I mean? So all y'all little motherfuckers. That that want to talk about this weekend, go stand in the corner by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because when other folks stand up and rise and make some movements, you know what I mean. No matter how small the movements may be, you know what I'm saying. You sit your ass down and you keep on sucking the penis of white supremacy. Peace out.